What's up, YouTube? Reese is Pythons here with another Leopard Gecko video. Uh, excuse the reflection. There it is. Uh, just got a new animal in, along with this Exoterra enclosure. Came with it. Uh, went on ahead and set it up. First idea came to mind, I set it up like this. Uh, this is just a turtle dock that I got land across so it can climb up there. Uh, got the leopard gecko up in here. I think I'm going to put uh, like probably three females up in here. All the females up in here is, is way big, big enough for them. Uh, yeah, I like, I like it. Of course, you're going to have, you're going to have the water bowl and dish and everything and you can see her coming out and she's going back in now but I'm going to put a couple more females up here because it's, much, it's way big enough for a few female geckos uh, temperature reading 79 for now I just set this up y'all so y'all know I had this stuff up in the other tank, which I read done that tank. Let me show you guys that tank. All right, here's the other tank. You can see that girl up in there. Uh, I just set it up. There's a new, a new piece right here that came with the other, with the Exoterra. I ain't sure y'all to let y'all know what the other, what the animal was, was that I just recently got. I'm a partner of mine. I just set this up like this though. Got the food and the water dish in the back. Calcium dish in the back. I don't have nothing in this corner. I gotta figure out what I'm gonna put in this corner. Uh, just a regular setup. I think I'm gonna put a male up in here, put my females, a few females up in that exoterra tank. I don't know if I'm gonna keep her up in here or not. I'll just put a mail up here. But you now make sure y'all comment. Let me know what y'all think about this setup and the other setup. Y'all know I'm known for changing things around. I'm known for doing, getting different ideas, different setups for the animals. That's just what I do. I enjoy doing it. I don't know what she doing. Oh, there she go. Coming back out. I know a lot of people are not a fan of this uh, grassy turf thing, but it's okay. Uh, they say something about carrying bacteria. Uh, I, I'm more than sure anything you use is a is a hazard. So you just, I feel you just make sure you clean it real good, uh, uh, disinfect real good, make sure that, you know, there's nothing what you really can't make sure is nothing being carried on whatever substrate that it is that you're using. I just ask that you do your best to keep it clean, keep it washed, and dry it off so that way you can you reuse it or whatever whatever you so choose to do with it. A lot of people, again, not a fan of the grassy turf. It's cool. It's fine with me. Uh, I like it. I like the look. Uh, I'm a real clean neat person so I make sure I clean with hot water uh, I make sure I clean it real good so let it air dry dry it out so that way it be safe to reuse again and the same with the reptile carpet and everything else man because I feel if it if it wasn't safe I don't feel that they'll make it for that so this girl here exploring so y'all make sure y'all just comment down below let me know what y'all think of the setup got a fake plant in the back But the main thing is to make sure you clean everything real good. 
real good. Make sure you clean it up so you can reuse it again. Whatever you do, somebody's not going to like it. Somebody's not going to agree with you using it. Somebody's going to have a problem with whatever it is that you use. And you can't go through your days or through your experience uh, worrying about what the next negative person see or what the negative person see. Because, I mean, you want to learn. You want to get ideas. You want to make sure your animal is safe and good. But there's also people that if you're not doing it the way that they want you to or the way that they care for the animals, you're doing it wrong. They have a lot of people like that. They have a lot of people that are going to criticize you. Talk about the way you uh, set up your animals, your husbandry, you know, your care. You're going to have a lot of people that have a problem with that. And you can't go on uh, letting those people discover you because whatever you use, somebody's not going to agree to it. So it don't even matter. So you just make sure you do right with cleaning and disinfecting. That's all I can tell you. I use this. Somebody say they don't like the way it looks. Somebody say that it's not safe for them. I use a uh, shelf mat. That's not safe for them. I use gravel. That's not safe for them. If you use sand, that's not safe for them. It's it just anything. It's anything. So yeah, just make sure you do what you need to do uh, by your animal. And don't worry about what... If it's people out there that's giving you good advice, trying to help you, then that's good. But you go have some people that that just got a problem with everything you do. And I ran across both. Good people and negative people. I ran across them all. As long as your animal is doing good, eating, shedding, drinking, breeding, as long as your animal is doing what they're supposed to do, you're doing, you're doing good. So, y'all comment down below. Let me know what y'all think about what I said. Y'all let me know what y'all think about the, the tank, uh, the tank setups, the new Exo Terror tank or whatever uh let me show y'all this new animal that was given to me all right y'all ready not gonna stay in here but there it is there it is big bearded dragon i don't know if it's a male or a female though big bearded dragon that i was given not too long ago with the extra terror tank. It was nice and cool, so I put it up in here to get it warmed up or whatever. But that's it. That's it, you guys. Comment down below. Reese's Pythons. I'm out.